calling out other people with revilings ideology. It's that no one who espouses it can even tell you what these words mean. It's like, what is a reviler? Can you tell me what a reviler is? Let's do. No, we're not going to start anywhere. I'll tell you what, because it's off topic, I will entertain it. But I will entertain it if you can put it in a concise syllogism. Okay, you know what? When I ask for a syllogism, the answer is not to then ask me a question. What's a Again, syllogism? This is why a dumb, gutter trash, idiot-brained, low-IQ, California, shit-dirt lawyer is not going to come in here and show that, just like he claimed the other night, he knows nothing about logic, philosophy, or actual argumentation or critical thinking. So when I ask him to simply provide the thing, Define provide. the claim that he is making, it does not start with you asking a question. It doesn't start that way. That's not how it starts. So again, Rob, let's try one more time. Provide me the syllogism to black up the back up the claim that I am condemned by my own standard. Go. Those in the laundry list of uh, identifiable things that will not inherit the kingdom of God include effeminate. Do you agree <laughs> with that premise? <laughs> Doing it syllogistically. Do you agree with that premise? Yeah, that's that, you know, Rob. Uh, yes, because it condemns uh, you two, too. Two. So, so no, I I agree with that. Oh, no. good, good, good. Those two revilers is included in the laundry list of those who will not inherit the kingdom of God. Sure, define reviling. Reviler is someone who speaks abusively or contemptuously to or of another person or thing. Beautiful. And it okay. So, you, did you, you agree with that definition on the second? Well, tell me where you got the, no stop we're not in agreement yet where okay. did you get the definition uh this one i got from dictionary.com where, where do you want me to get it this is you stupid fat bitch i can't just agree as the quarter pounder made the conclusion me, or the premises if you don't define the terms of the premises again you dumb fat retarded dropout okay pay attention to what i'm saying define your terms So exposed like the stupid fat idiot bitch he is trying to comment on I'm things just he knows as the quarter about. pounder made me, sir. He went to an English dictionary to look up an English word, which was a translation from an original Greek term. Now, how would I know? Now, how would I apply actual hermit? Let's say I wasn't some scumbag lying attorney from California. Let's just say for a moment. And and I wanted to the only engage thing in got actual right there honest was California and attorney truth. Would I look at what the, the, the Webster's Dictionary or Merriam-Webster says about the definition of a translated word from the Greek? Or would I go to a theological exegetical cross-reference source?